lesson. And today's lesson is scavenger. So let's go through it. So the question is, what exactly a scavenger is? And an answer to this question is, a scavenger is an organism or animal that feeds on dead and decaying materials or rotting plants are called scavenger. And here organism means a living thing. This food habit is called scavenging. Usually, scavengers consume animals that have died naturally or been killed by other animals. Now, time for a couple of examples. The first one is vulture. Vulture eats dead and rotting flesh of animals. Or you can say they feed on carrion. And here carrion means dead and rotting flesh. The next one is bearded vulture, also known as lamgayers. The bearded vultures eat bones and they drop the bones from great heights to break them up in smaller pieces and then chew them up to get the bone marrow. Here bone marrow means a soft tissue inside bones. The next one on the list is blowfly. Blowfly feeds on the wounds of sheep, cattle and other livestock. Only dead flesh around the wounds is eaten while the animal is itself Life and healthy. And here livestock means animal raised for sale and profit. The next one is cockroach. Cockroaches are omnivorous scavengers. They consume any kind of organic food source available to them like sweets, meat, starch, hair, bugs, dead trees, decay materials, and sewer feeds. So, this is in general all about scavenger. Now, this is time for some advanced information. Many animals will scavenge if they have the chance, even though carrion is not the preferred food. For an example, fox, coyotes eat carrion in winter when they cannot find other food items. Hyena, they eat animals died in injuries or stew meat from other carnivores. But they hunt also. Lion, leopards, wolves are all carnivorous animals. But they scavenge sometimes when they come across to carrion. So we can say scavenging is a food habit. Some animals totally depend on it and some occasionally show this kind of food habit. So that's all for today. Do take care of yourself and please press like and subscribe buttons. And if you find this lesson is useful, please write in the comment box below. Bye!